Hey, sexy people, Taylor Sparks here at Mariposa Aki, and this is your 60 Seconds of Sparks and beyond, because we're going beyond today. So how to love your high libido, how to enjoy your high libido. But first, what is a high libido, right? Because who was the one that decided that your libido was high? Who told you? Let me be the first one to let you know that there is one, nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with your libido, and it is absolutely normal for you. And we all have a baseline of how much intimacy, sex, love that we enjoy, and letting others tell you that you are doing the most or that you just want too much and you are never satisfied and you are insatiable, worse, a succubus. <laughs> I am here to tell you, you're not and you are absolutely normal. There is nothing better than enjoying the sex that you enjoy for you. And you really have to be able to let go of the societal norms and what your mama said, and what your uncle said, and what your brother said, and what your sister said, what your son said, what your daughter said, about how much sex you love to have. You know, if the, if the scale of low to high libido is zero to 100 and you are at 99.9, .9, that's your normal. That's not high. Because if the scale is one to 1,000 and you're at 101, that's not low. <laughs> so that's a very subjective thing with regards to how high it is, but we, those of us who enjoy every aspect of sex and lots of it and sometimes with lots of different people sometimes and lots with the same person have been made to feel like something is wrong with us so much so that i have met more men than women but i have definitely met a number of people who have decided to withhold sex because they were thinking that they possibly had an addiction because they enjoyed it so much all the time in all types of sex. I don't mean like with regards to, you know, gender, but for some people, yes, but, or, or orientation, some people, yes. But the fact that they enjoyed so much of it in so many different ways that they were concerned that they had to, there is nothing wrong with you. Stop holding yourself back from enjoying the good sex that you want because it does so much for you. Those of us who are on the normal side of the high libido, when we withhold ourselves from enjoying the things that make us feel good, we do more harm to ourselves than good. We really do because for us, it is healing. And it is healing in, in, in many, many ways, right? It is healing physically. It is healing um, emotionally. And, and for physical healing, sex can heal uh, pain. Uh, it's good for your cardiovascular, you know, uh, cardiovascular system. It's good for your immune uh, system. It's good emotionally. It can heal past traumas. It can heal stress. It, you know, that good sex will give you a great shot of dopamine and oxytocin. It will improve your mood. You no longer want to yell at the kids and kick the dog when you've had some really, 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 <laughs> really, 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 really good sex. And again, lots of it. So don't hold back because you're afraid of what somebody's going to say. One, it's none of their business. So two, stop telling them your business. Stop telling them about your sex life. Because if they don't know, they have no freaking opinion about what you do and how you do it. So enjoy yourself. This is the only life that we have. We are uh, human beings who come from sex. When we were developed, when we were made, when we were conceived, it was because our parents had sex and hopefully it was good. So don't keep punishing yourself. Don't think that you're Something's wrong with you because you enjoy it. Just enjoy it and have a good, good time. 
And if you want some accessories to enjoy it, well, you know where to find me at organicloving.com. Ciao. <laughs>